Sa mga nakalipas na taon, marami ang nakapansin na tumumal ang paggawa niya ng pelikula. Noong 2007 kasi, si Direk Marilu nagka-breast cancer. I don't find myself praying, God, cure me. If ever I say, heal my my heal me of cancer in body and soul. Ngunit nito lang nakaraang taon, natuklas ang bumalik ang kanyang sakit at lumala pa ito. Nasa stage 4 na ngayon ang kanyang breast cancer. I was very frustrated at first, very angry. Um, but at the end of the day, mom is a very strong woman, very resilient woman. And then after a while, because of the way my mom is, I finally accepted that it's part of her life because cancer never really leaves once you have it. Nito lamang Webes, personal kong kinumusta si Direk Marilu. Congratulations for all your good work. It's good to see you here. Una po sa lahat, kumusta na ako kayo? Today I'm feeling well and I'm so glad that we chose this date because uh, any cancer survivor will tell you no matter how well they're coping with their treatments, there are good days and not so good days. But today happens to be a very good day and I'm glad I'm spending the morning with you. Pero ano po ang diagnosis ng doctor? I was first diagnosed with uh, breast cancer uh, stage 3 in January of 2007. So I spent most of 2007 in treatments. Then I was on remission in 2008. I told the doctor, wala ito sa budget ko. Akala <laughs> ko kasi sabi niyo, go na ako, free departure na ako. Hindi pa pala. So I said, eh siguro may, may ipapagawa pa, hindi ba? Baka gusto akong gawing sample na cancer is not death. There's really no death. You're just moving in transition from one stage to another. So... I have good days, I have not so good days, but the not so good days, I don't spend in pain. It, I don't really have pain. It's, death is so inconvenient eh, and illness is so inconvenient, mm -hmm. especially in our fast-paced life. Ironically, it's what people miss out on, that in reflecting about your mortality, you actually can find quiet, a kind of grace, no, na mm -hmm. pwede mong isa lang alang yung sarili mo. Let someone else take charge of you instead of you're always the one na lang that's taking care of yourself. Sa aming pag-uusap, humanga ako sa kanyang tapang. Kahit pa ang usapan, kamatayan. Amazing na you can laugh about these things. Yes. Na sinasabi mo na actually you're on extended time. Yes. Oh, which oh. is very unusual. Yes. Unang-unang thought na pumasok sa isip ko is, oh my God, thank you, I have time. Because I, I was thinking, you could go down the elevator and it could drop and you wouldn't have had time to think about the people whom you still love, who you still need you, and how to prepare for the inevitable, which is death. That's how I think of myself. Arawan sa vineyards ni Lord. So, I wake up in the morning, ay, ginising ako ni Lord, siguro may pagagawa sa akin today. So, whether that's maka-counsel maka ako ng isa o dalawa on the telephone, maka-internet ako, maka-Facebook ako, hindi, okay na sa akin yon. Hindi ko na siya kinocompare doon sa, you know, in the 80s and 90s where I would be doing 1,000% more things. Amazing talaga direct na Parang tanggap na tanggap nyo yes. where you're going. You're well, I don't know where I'm going, <laughs> but that I have to go sooner or later. Yes, I'm I'm prepared anytime, anytime. If I lose my breath now, I know I'm holding my scapular. I uh, I know whose name will be on my lips, mm -hmm. and I practice it. I practice it. Sometimes kapi na practice ko yung trahe ko ready na eh, mm -hmm. kung ano para sa casket. Pinagawa ko na yun, nung January pa. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, nakabili na ako, alun isusunod. Oo, oh, nandun na nakasabit na yun.